Hello everyone, we are from Angels Global Academy. We are the uh, students from the retailing batch of 2013. And over here, like, uh, we are going to uh, tell you how practically we, are, uh, we have learned and we are implementing this store economics. We are actually divided into two teams. Uh, our team is like, we are going to explain the planner room of the store. And the secondly, like, uh, we are going to, uh, we are like focusing on the uh, per square feet sales of the store. And our uh, focus is to get more customers into the store and achieve profitability. And there is another team which is estimating the performance metrics of our team, uh, our team's work. And uh, they like uh, explain us about the uh, pre-store operations, the store efficiency, and also the company's profitability. All these three are the all these three are the major factors which will lead to a uh, retail store running into profit or loss. So we hope like our store is going to run into profit. Let us have a look at it. Over here, uh, initially when like uh, when the customer is coming, we have the parking space over here. We have uh, this is the uh, uh, main building, and uh, this is I mean uh, we consider this to be the main road. Over here we have the parking space, and when a customer is coming inside, he will get he will like we have a security over here who will get the uh, baggages from him, and he will like uh, enter into this, take a trolley from here, and he will just move into the store. Like uh, what based on his requirement, he will be for, like proceeding into the store. And uh, we have kept uh, different uh, displays over here, like uh, the bakery products has been displayed, the snacks is displayed here, and the offers, th so that the uh, customer will get a clear view of what products are uh, being uh, placed in the near aisle. And over here we have the display of the offers. Once the, uh, like, it will be a major attracting factor for the customers. Once they get to see this uh, offers, they will be uh, pleased enough to go inside the store and uh, buy the products. And over here we have the uh, counter one and the counter two. They consist of a uh, few of the uh, products which will like uh, be of an impulsive buying kind of because uh, once the like we are running out of uh, change and all, like they will prefer buying all these things. And suddenly if they feel that they have missed out all these razors, uh, plates, and cho I mean chocolates kind of, they will be tempted to buy it over here. And the next is like uh, we have the uh, cold st storage over here. Apart from the storage, like we uh, we also have a display of these cold storage products. So into the uh, uh, snack section. If the like customer wants it, they can uh, buy it. And uh, over here, the cold storage is there. They come. We have we have uh, juices, milk, butter, cheese, panis, and all uh, uh, vegetable storages over here, and also ice creams. And the next storage is completely meant only for the packaged foods. That includes the non-veg foods as well. But there will be a different segregation for the veg and the non-veg foods, so that the customer feels reliable in purchasing things from us. And the next is the uh, fruit section over here. Uh, uh, like unlike the other stores, we have uh, more categories of fruits and vegetables. The one is um, apple. In the apple, we have five different varieties of uh, apples. And in bananas, we have five different uh, varieties of bananas. And uh, as like uh, the, um, and uh, in grapes, we have two different varieties of uh, grapes. And in the uh, pomegranates, it is uh, two varieties of pomegranates. And in the orange, like we have two varieties. Pineapple, there is only one variety. And uh, finally, is the watermelon. Again, we have uh, three varieties. And the uh, vegetable, uh, like uh, over here, the, the fruits uh, is of the uh, square feet, uh, the 300 square feet. And uh, vegetables, it is of uh, 400 square feet. Because, uh, you know, like uh, more than fruits might be like they will purchase on a weekly basis and they can store it. But vegetables, when it comes to the vegetables concern, like they wanted to come very frequently and buy vegetables over there. So we have uh, uh, so much, care, I mean, uh, greater space occupying the vegetables. And in case of onions, we have different varieties. Potatoes, uh, two varieties. Carrot, two varieties. And uh, uh, brinjal is again three varieties. Tomato, three varieties as we know. And uh, the green leaves. That is uh, the spinaches and all. Spinaches, uh, curry leaves and all that contributes to this session where we, where we have seven varieties of it. And next comes the uh, rice and dal session. This is like uh, we have uh, uh, a longer section of it. It is not like we have uh, less, uh, less width but a uh, uh, greater length. And uh, we have rice and dal here. It is completely the private labels. We consider the, this uh, section to be the uh, destination spot of the customers because uh, you know when compared to that of the uh, uh, labeled goods or the packaged goods, uh, this is comparative of less price and of a high quality. And uh, uh, we also like uh, this is not like we are manufacturing. We just outsource the products and we sell it here. And uh, in this case, we have different kinds of dals. And the rice is like it is of uh, unpackaged goods, so it is kept over there only. And when we come to uh, this uh, other session of it, uh, like, you know, uh, because the fruits and vegetables are uh, uh, here, like, uh, uh, the uh, housewives will be tend to buy, like, purchase things which is uh, close by it. 
So we place the rice and dal of the private labels initial first the sweets over here, and next comes the uh, uh, packaged goods that is oil, dal, and um, spices, wheat, flours, and all. We have uh, uh, four four varieties in each category so that people have uh, different uh, varieties to buy. And next comes the uh, snacks. Once like uh, so, so totally we are uh, covering all the uh, food products here so that uh, people will be fond of like uh, easily purchasing things from here. Next, uh, over here we have the uh, bakery and that is next to the counter so that the billing becomes easy. So that the customers once they come in, they get their, uh, after seeing this bakery products, if they feel like uh, buying it, they will like go here, they will purchase the uh, things from the, I mean, uh, they will get the uh, uh, bill from the counter and they can go and buy all these products. They, like, if it is, uh, if the bakery is placed somewhere else, they will not have uh, so, so much comfort of coming and buying things from here. And that is the advantage of uh, placing the bakery over here. And all the bakery products are private labels. That also contribute to our uh, uh, like margins. Because you know, like we are not taking any uh, label products, and we are not running out of uh, uh, small, running out of uh, small. I mean, uh, running of small margins. Like so, because we place the private labels here, we have uh, greater margins in this. And next comes the snack section, where uh, we have the uh, lays, biscuits, chocolates, chips, traditional snacks, sweet snacks, and uh, cool drinks. The cold drinks, as before, like I told you, uh, we have a cold storage here, and the varieties of the cold drinks over there has been placed here, and we we ensure that all the uh, uh, products in the uh, uh, I mean ale are uh, kept kept over here also, so that the uh, uh, customers can take home, and uh, uh, and this is of the uh, snack section. Now I uh, invite my friend to take over the session. We are, we are uh, kept uh, stationary items here. Uh, stationary item we are having a uh, books, books, uh, no, uh, notes, and uh, uh, scales and all, all, all the items here. And after that we are having a cosmetics item. Cosmetics uh, items we are here near, nearby the back uh, Surely the girls will come here. The uh, cosmetics having here uh, the lipsticks, uh, uh, lipsticks uh, ma marker, uh, face wash, face mask, all the items is here. And uh, the, the girls' necessary items, all the um, uh, cosmetics items here. And uh, after cosmetics items, we are having uh, the kitchen item, kitchen necessary items. Uh, Maggie, private uh, Maggie, Maggie having a, we are having uh, the private labels. The pri uh, private lab, uh, label having uh, the noodle size items, we are having uh, the private labels. And uh, after the private labels, having uh, your FMC, FMCG products. We are having uh, FMC, FMCG products. We are having FMCG products. We are having uh, soaps, shampoos, and uh, toothpaste, and uh, hair gels, and uh, perfume, and um, all the things. Uh, in the FMCG also, we are having uh, the private labels, uh, soaps, and shampoos, and toothpaste, and hair gel. We are having uh, all the uh, private labels. After that, we are having a uh, dry fruit, uh, dry fruits, dry fruits like. Uh, we are having a variety of items, and uh, we are having a two qualities. And after that, we are having a masala item. Masala items are chicken, uh, chicken biryani masala, and uh, like that we are having a. We have different masala varieties like uh, chicken biryani masala and uh, veg curry masala, sambar rasam, uh, pepper powder, fish, mutton, and uh, other uh, uh, like uh, paneer and choli masalas. In that we have different uh, kind of varieties because we have so many brands which we uh, like our customers are preferring. So we have, uh, said, I mean, we have uh, segregated into different brands. And uh, when it comes to the dry fruits, like uh, once, uh, once these, uh, I mean, uh, we have uh, placed it over here. The reason being, uh, like, um, you know, like we have the health section over here, the health drinks over here. Because of that, we have the uh, dry, dry, dry fruits kept nearby so that when the people prefer health drinks, they will be reminded about uh, they purchasing the dry fruits. And uh, we have uh, cashew, badam, sprouts, dry grapes, almonds, and pistas. And next comes the uh, over here we have the uh, Boost, Horlicks, Bone Bitter, Complex, Complex Oats, Chocos, and uh, other uh, health drink uh, items, energy drinks, and all over here. This is the reason behind we have uh, kept these four things closer and just we have left way for the uh, customers to walk in. This because uh, that is the reason where uh, like they will be health, the people who are health conscious will uh, be uh, like uh, favored enough to uh, buy the products from here. And next comes the uh, plastic and the steel sections. The reason we have put like uh, the uh, uh, plastic and the steel sections over here is it cannot be an impulsive buying. Because only when the customers are coming with a plan to buy the plastic and the steel sections, um, and they just drop in there and they buy the thing. So in the case of like uh, during the uh, period of they moving from here to here, if 
they find all these products kept over here they will have a feel of uh, buying the impulsive things that is the reason we put this across so that uh, i mean uh, the customers will have a um, like a view of all the products and then go for the uh, plastic and the uh, steel items over here we have uh, induction stoves the mops and the broomsticks steel vessels spoons knife plates cups hot boxes tiffins and snacks boxes water bottles in each each of them we have different varieties in the case of induction stove we have two varieties and the remaining we approximately give five to 10 varieties of each product and next comes the plastics the plastics we have uh, plastic buckets mugs plates and bowls in bowls we have 10 varieties because it will contribute to the microwave oven vessels also and next is the plates we have five varieties mugs we have seven varieties and the plastics we have one to four uh, varieties and this whole section is like we have left for store room because the store is big and we want to occupy more space in the store so we have come uh, we have given a such a great space for the store room and uh, we have ma made sure that the store room uh, i mean the position of the store room is not going to affect our sales and uh, over here like we initially we have uh, kept one separate uh, portion for the private labels and next comes the household goods and next comes the masala items fmcg drinks and then snacks we have left a space for all these things so that it moves from here to there and there comes the uh, manager's room and uh, excuse ma me manager's room and uh, any uh, any uh, customers are having any grievances and all they can go and they can uh, uh, they can directly share it with the uh, managers and their feedbacks can also be shared with the managers where the manager can always be available and we also like um, Uh, we have uh, given uh, different i mean uh, the space which has been allotted over here is uh, mainly because of uh, we because we are following some uh, logic and uh, for the bakery items it is again uh, i mean uh, we have uh, okay, we have like segregated 500 square feet for the bakery items and uh, for the snacks it is uh, uh, six, uh, 650 square uh, square feet because you know bakery I mean uh, snacks we have uh, different uh, varieties of uh, snacks so we require a, a large space for that in the case of bakery products it is the our uh, private labels and we we, we comparatively have a less uh, i mean though we have more varieties we don't have that much variety i mean we have uh, different uh, though we have less categories we don't have uh, much uh, varieties into it so we are giving a uh, space of uh, 500 uh, square feet for this and 650 square feet for this next comes the uh, stationery and the gift items we have a feel that uh, stationery and the gift kit gift items are the always uh, preferred uh, products by the customers because uh, they will have either of the other occasions for uh, giving gifts and also stationery is one of the uh, major uh, product like each uh, like uh, the customers will be making use of uh, in their daily life so again we have uh, given 400 square feet and because uh, we don't think like we can make uh, good profit i mean good profit margins out of it so we have like given only 450 square square feet for that and next comes the uh, cosmetics and the beauty care products uh, this takes uh, around uh, 700 uh, square feet square feet of the uh, uh, store the reason being uh, you know like uh, when it comes to beauty care products uh, the most of the uh, ladies because we have uh, fruits and vegetables and all the uh, food products here we prefer more uh, ladies dropping into the store and if in the case we are having so much of cosmetics and beauty products and we have a separate element of i uh, mean uh, separate aisle and uh, lots of space allotted for this preferably ladies will feel comfortable in dropping into a store they are not only for buying the uh, food products they'll also be ha be happy enough to buy the cosmetics from us and next comes the fmcg products it occupies around uh, 700 square feet again the reason being uh, again we have uh, so much of uh, uh, varieties categories of products into it and we see each and every product over here has a greater depth because uh, when it comes because we have to meet the uh, needs of the customers like one customer will be preferring one particular brand and the other customer will prefer another brand so we have to satisfy and meet the needs of the customers that that is the reason why we have uh, allotted uh, uh, such a great space for the fmcg products and next comes the uh, uh, kitchen uh, usage products that is the maggi Uh, rubber products uh, wheat uh, wheat noodles and the vermicelli uh, over here it is occupying again uh, uh, 400 to 500 square feet of uh, space the uh, again uh, in order to give varieties and uh, categories of product for the customers we have uh, given such a good thing and masala is like uh, you know, we have so much of masalas uh, different different masalas for uh, different food items and food uh, dishes so we have given uh, uh, again 600 uh, square feet for this and this we have we ensure that all the masala items are been uh, over here and uh, we feel that this will the space will be sufficient enough to uh, uh, give the uh, i mean uh, give the masala i mean masalas a good view and next comes the dry fruits in the in the case of dry fruits we have uh, we have only uh, less space allotted for this that is the 300 square feet 
and uh, in in this uh, in this area it is like uh, we have uh, given a small space when compared to that of the other other things because we, in dry fruits we feel that uh, not all the customers will prefer dry fruits only few of them will prefer so it is we we felt this this space might be sufficient for the customers to take um, like uh, have a good view about the uh, Uh, dry fruits and next comes the health drinks because we have like uh, given a separate uh, portion for this health drinks we have given uh, uh, 250 square feet square square feet of area for this health drinks because you know like uh, this is a separate category we have like focusing into a diff one one particular aim so it is like we have given this and next comes the uh, pla and plastic and the steel sections this occupies the more space because you know we know the size and uh, size of the steel goods are all, uh, always big so it will occupy a greater space it occupies around uh, 900 square feet and this occupies around uh, uh, 300 square feet the reason being uh, steel items are always uh, bigger and occupying more space when compared to that of the plastic items and plastic items we don't give uh, such a big utensils or uh, big vessels for uh, these things in the case of um, these uh, in the case of uh, steel that is the uh, that is it is occupying more space so we have given 900 square feet for this and we have given 300 square feet for this and on the whole we see the whole store occupies a square feet of uh, 4500 square feet thank you and my uh, friend dinesh will take over the session and also you having your uh, store storerooms uh, here here is the entrance to the private label here is the entrance to the uh, private label storeroom and uh, from this uh, we can go to uh, household goods storerooms and then uh, muscle items storeroom then uh, uh, fmcg uh, goods are uh, stored from here and also uh, cool drinks uh, cool drinks are uh, stored from here and the uh, snacks items are stored here uh, and uh, uh, this one is the ma manager uh, manager room uh, Dinesh, won't you? Won't the uh, customers feel difficult in walking through the uh, space to meet the manager? Do you think they'll be uh, uh, like feeling flexible enough to go and uh, give the feedback to the manager if the store is there? Yeah. Um, actually, ma manager is uh, won't be here uh, all the times. Uh, he will be rounds in the store, and uh, that time they can meet manager. Okay. If not, uh, uh, being the sales salesperson there, like uh, they will give the. Uh, Suggestion of uh, meeting the manager there, no? Because uh, the customers over here, they will not know that the manager's room is there. Uh, you will uh, be educating the customer. Okay. I mean, the customer like the manager's room is uh, there. Hmm? The 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 okay. employees will be explained uh, to the customer that manager room is there. Okay. Uh, Partisan, uh, can you tell me uh, what are the benefits of uh, a bakery being there? So because a bakery, we are having a private label only. We are uh, having a homemade homemade biscuit only. We are making uh, we are making a. Uh, uh, Which costs five rupee and we are selling at ten rupee. They are making a five rupee profit. That's only we are making back. And we are having. I, I want to explain the store. We are don't having a, um, a fruit and vegetable store uh, store because we are uh, buying a fruits and vegetables. It's a perishable. So we are buying a uh, yesterday morning and uh, we will sell today morning. Like that only. It's a yesterday night and we will sell the today morning like that only. And we are having a half of products having a one less. So face for 800 800 square feet. So every day we are providing offer uh, uh, because uh, near by near by expiry date products uh, we are having we are giving to offer and we are selling that. We are 50 percent, 15 percent. We are giving offer. We are selling to that customers. Like that, are, that only we are having offer. Why we are putting like uh, here offer products means the customer and see here and see the offer products. Come and visit for all the things. Uh, come, come there and buy the products and go uh, see the all the things and buy something. That only it's a it's a profitable thing. That only we are promoting that. Darni, hmm. like, can you tell me? Uh, uh, Should I tell about the storeroom? Yeah, sure. Because in the storeroom we cannot uh, cover all the things. We gave space here. If uh, any inventory is finished, means we can quickly able to collect all the things. It's very easy for us. Okay. Okay, there are many like cosmetics and beauty care products are here. Do you think we have uh, separate uh, showrooms for all the cosmetics and beauty care products? Do you think like uh, the uh, customers will mean, uh, feel feel good in coming and buying cosmetics and beauty care products? Because in our store we have allotted a uh, large space for uh, co cosmetics and beauty care. So how do you think that you can attract uh, the ladies coming into it? Uh, we can keep our cosmetics beauty care products here itself. Because uh, uh, if people want anything other items, stationery, FMCG products, means they can able to pick easily. So this is good, good uh, format. Mm -hmm. James, 
Can you tell me why you are displaying the offers here? Customer will enter here. So first will so customer will attract the offers. He will give more offers. Uh, customer will buy more things. Okay, we will any product we will give offers. Customer will buy more things for uh, FMCG products, electronic goods. We will give offers. Customer will buy more things. Okay, Thomas, uh, can you please tell me why you like you're having two securities in the entrance? So we will 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 we not run and loss if you're going to pay uh, two securities the uh, salary? So uh, my my point of view, we want two securities because uh, when the customer entering entering the shop, the First, uh, uh, in the enter, uh, we want uh, definitely we want security. So we have to check the we have to check that uh, there is a machine a machine to check uh, customer will buy uh, will keep uh, bringing anything some um, like uh, some uh, any extra thing they are buying something. That's why we want to own security there. And then when uh, when the customer bought all product, they will return here. Then they will uh, whether we whether they will bill or not, we don't know. That. So uh, we have to check them. So that you have a machine over here, no? So yeah. that once it is not built, you have the beep sounds there. You can easily yeah. make out, no? First, first uh, check. We have to check them. Mm -hmm. uh, they will build here, and then uh, they will. Uh, it's already checking. Then the security uh, will check that bill, and it's correct or they are building or not. Uh, for that, we, we want to security. Okay, That's for that, that this this like, checking machine is not sufficient. Yeah, check. Checking machine is sufficient, but checking checking machine checking only that part. Okay, then yeah, I will just add to your point. Why we have kept another security over here is uh, like when we are getting inside, we will just leave our baggages here and we will go. And after like coming outside, we again we will have to go here and we will collect it from there and come. So in order oh, to make the customers feel easy. more comfortable, like we have put another security here. Yeah, we have to put another security. Because that is what I am saying. Yeah. That is the reason we have put one over here. And Chandra Mohan, would you like to add something to our store? It's one of them. Because total square feet is 1500. 37,000 30, square feet. Because this half of product only they give 800 square feet. This is because, uh, after coming square feet. Total we are this, uh, we have a big uh, big, st uh, big square uh, big store. We have uh, we we added more, more categories. We are selling. Products. Like over here, we uh, call our uh, next team to have a performance uh, metrics evaluation of our planogram. Thank you, Prasanna. Good afternoon, everyone. Now we have the three store operations. Now, as you know, that uh, we have a 4,500 square feet store. So, uh, the basic principle of retailing says that we have to first aggregate volumes, and second thing, we'll have to manage the space. Now, as you have seen that this layout that you have here has uh, products of all varieties. We uh, the optimal space utilization, which is the first part of our plan, is met. And second, uh, what we would like to do is we have categorized our purchase and uh, logistics into two categories. One is vendor selection, and second is logistics and transport. Now uh, we uh, we go to different vendors and rate them according to this. Uh, that is, we have. What, what are the number of what are the number of products they are offering and what is the variety of products they are offering what's the cost price they are offering and what's the margin they are offering now if any of the vendor is competitive we will we'll select him and we'll uh, take products from him in the, in the coming months now we'll also go with the different uh, trans logistics and transport providers wherein we'll uh, we'll speak to different providers and whoever is giving us the lowest price is uh, whom we will we'll be able to uh, do our business with now, when I talk about uh, the products that are there in the store, now first thing that I would like to do is I would like to you know do the intending part. That is, most of the products that we have here would have uh, an automatic intent. That is, as the products, if there are ten products and four products get sold out, the POS software, the point of sale software, will send uh, will send me a message stating that I have a shortage of so many products and I ought to order them. Now, in case when I receive the products and I found, find that some of the products are de uh, defective, then I have an effective return policy in place. Now, in, in case the products are defective and uh, the products meet the return policy criteria, then I'll, I'll go uh, about designing the reverse logistics for the same. Now, after that, uh, when, whenever the stock comes into the store, I need to check how many people are there for inverting the stock 
and uh, what what's the time in at which the stock comes now uh, now for inverting stock as i told you that i need uh, people so i also do the manpower scheduling for the inverting of stock as well as the store operations now that depends on the hours of operations of my store now uh, if i that is for example in this store i would like to keep this store open from 11 am to 9 pm so i'll typically have three shifts two shifts here one is from 10 to 7 and the other other a shift would so the employees will be coming in two shifts now uh, we also have a plan for uh, store maintenance here that is uh, any store which has to be attractive has to be clean. So for that we have a vendor who will give us a manpower for maintenance that is the housekeeping staff. And we also have a backup plan for emergency that is in, in case if any employee doesn't turn up then we ha will have some other employee work for him and during his weekly off the other, other person will come and work. Now uh, similarly we also have a backup plan for uh, the housekeeping staff where the vendor will try to arrange uh, staff so that the so that the store is clean. Now, after this manpower scheduling is done, uh, we'll, we'll just move on to what measures do we have in order to uh, run the store efficiently. Now, first thing is we have a few cost cutting measures. Uh, in this area, we have uh, a power shortage problem, so we'll have to use the generator for at least four hours in a day. So, what we are trying to do is we are trying to use the generator. That is, we are trying to use the generator for only the lights and or the the with the computers. Uh, as far as the AC is concerned, now we we'll use the AC only during the time in which we have the regular power. And uh, we, we also have uh, a tab on uh, what licenses that the store needs and we also keep a tab on uh, when, when it should be re renewed. Now the rent for the space is something that we do not have a control on because it depends on the area in which the store is there. Now after this, uh, the operations part is done, we'll have to record everything. So for that we, we have certain templates for documentation. Now let me just explain about the different registers that we have. Now we have a register for uh, the login time, we have a register for uh, the security guard, we also have registers for the sales that happen in the, in the store, and we, we also have registers uh, for uh, the invert and output, the invert of stock and also the stock that is returned. Similarly, we, we also document uh, the various other activities uh, such as uh, the diesel usage for the gen generator, and we also have uh, a register for uh, you know uh, the housekeeping stuff. Now, uh, how do we uh, achieve the supply chain efficiencies here? Is now during the transportation, as I told you that uh, we we focus mainly on the vendor selection, wherein the lowest uh, cost price is what we are looking for. So we would like to uh, we would convey the message to the uh, to the transport company that uh, you know they'll have to pick up the stock at one time so that the transportation costs are reduced because we are paying a per kilometer charge here. So this uh, transportation company will pick up the stock all at once and come to the store and drop it. Now we have a plan of getting the stock on every Tuesday so that uh, we, we can we can have one, uh, that is on Tuesdays uh, generally we have, uh, you know, the sales are not as much as on weekends. So for that what we are trying to do is we'll have one, uh, one of the employees taking care of uh, the stock and we'll also uh, make sure that you know the stock that is coming in is checked the same day and it also it is also going onto the display and one policy that we would like to follow is we'll have minimum storage as far as the stock room is concerned and 75% of the stock will be on the shelves that that is achieved uh, by intending correctly and also making sure that uh, all the all the display is in place now, uh, having said all this, then uh, the major problem that the retailing industry is facing today is pilferage. Now, we have uh, a very good security mechanism here wherein the cameras are placed at uh, correct places so that uh, the manager's room has an access to all the cameras. And wherever we feel that you know there is some suspicion, we, we just go and uh, you know even if it's an employee, we just ask him to. Uh, you know, put, put back the products if we, in case there is any uh, case of shoplifting. Now, uh, uh, we we also have uh, we also have a criteria where we explain the roles and responsibilities of the employees, and we also have uh, a practice in place where there is a regular uh, meeting conducted, which will convey them the sales target for the day, and also which which category has got the maximum margin and which category 
will give them the required that is will give them the required uh, sale and also help them in achieving the target and uh, we we also have we we also send these reports uh, on a, uh, that is we also send these reports on a daily basis to the uh, to my my six, uh, skip level manager so that uh, they know what what exactly is happening in the store and uh, now uh, let me just uh, you know have uh, one of our uh, participants clear his doubt uh, abhilash so we we have designed this model for uh, running the store so uh, any any questions that you have about it uh, yeah i would like to ask particularly what cost cutting measures should be taken yes now cost cutting uh, here per se what we can do is now the only cost that you, the major cost that we are incurring here is on diesel because we have a challenge wherein we don't have power all the day and uh, four hours during our operation that is from 11 to 9 we have a four hour power cut two hours in the morning and two hours in the evening so what we will try to do is uh, as we are opening our store at 10 o'clock we we'll keep the ac switched on till 12 and once the power goes the ac is also turned off with which we can save a lot on diesel okay and uh, any any question ask yeah. yeah. i have a question rich how they uh, then the documentation templates okay now the documentation templates again as i told you uh, we have got a uh, different registers the register that we have to maintain is for our internal uh, purpose and also to show it to the government officials for example on a holiday if an official from municipal corporation is walking in then he has to know who are the employees who are working on that day okay so the different registers as i explained previously would be the login registers the time in and time out registers the register for housekeeping register for your sales rotation log that is we will have to make sure that every sales executive or every customer rep representative should get an equal chance of serving the customers so for that also we have a register my question is how can we are doing manpower scheduling okay manpower scheduling see now uh, as you know that we have a fixed time 11 to 9 and we work 7 days a week so what we want to do is uh, particularly on friday saturday and sunday Uh, we we do not we want all the staff to come into the store because that's the time when we have maximum walk-ins. So whatever uh, holidays, that is whatever weekly offs that we want to give would be from Monday to Thursday. So uh, considering uh, that we have five employees, so from Monday to Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have how many days? Four days. So on Monday typically we'll have two persons on off. On the other days we'll have one person on off each. Uh, Harish, sir, how do you maintain the inventory? Okay, how do you maintain the inventory? Now we have two types here. We have manual and we have automatic. Now uh, what we have decided is now, uh, for example, take fruits. Okay, fruits. Now these are highly perishable. Yes. Okay. So uh, we we want to make sure that on the same day we'll have to keep account of how many got sold. For example, all the ten got sold by afternoon. Okay. Then we'll do a manual inventory and get the stock. For example, now let's move on to the FMCG products. Go go for uh, products like Boost or Horlicks. Horlicks. Boost, Horlicks, Bonvita. Now, uh, for example, we have got 20 products. Okay. As soon as the level comes down to 15, the point of sale machine will directly send the order to the distribution center from which we but can get the. But I have one question. Just yes. When you're saying that uh, there's a fast moving. Yes. You can just uh, the order is generating automatically. Yes. When you set the some uh, some goods, uh, some quantity, mm -hmm. you can just automatically generate. Yes. Then you go with the just like you are in your store twenty. Yes. The when the order is going the ten, mm -hmm. they automatically generate the some order. Yes. Because uh, but in some uh, but in some FMG products, uh, the customer not want. Mm -hmm. Even the month there was the only one product See, more. See now this this twenty that I have given you, it's not fixed for every product. Okay. It depends on product to product. Okay. And how do you come come to that analysis is? Depending on the historical data. So for the past three months, if I see that every day I'm selling two boosts, okay. then in the next one month also I'll order two boosts. Okay. Only when there is an unprecedented demand, wherein you know suddenly people come and buy it, that is when I can do a manual inventory. So uh, I would like to uh, you know pass on uh, the discussion further, and we'll talk about the post store operations, wherein we have data about uh, what. Uh, sales have been done on a particular day or month, and uh, what, what, on what basis do we calculate the different parameters? Uh, so we have listed out the post or ops, and uh, these are the lists. Uh, so the first one is the cost of goods sold. 
uh, in this particular thing, uh, we only uh, keep a track of the goods that has been sold off. And when we are coming to these three, these three are interrelated to each other. That is the total bills. Uh, it is nothing. It's uh, nothing but the total bills that have been issued to the customers. And these two, ABB and AB, ABS, uh, ABB is a average bill value. The value of the bill that has been issued to the customers and average bill size. This is the quantity of the bills which has been issued. And then we are coming to profit per square feet and sales per square feet. Uh, profit and sales are separately being measured as per the square feet of the store. And when we are coming to category wise report, we have several variants of products. And uh, therefore we have categories and subcategories of the products. So therefore we keep the track, we keep the report of each and every categories and subcategories. And then we have sales. Sales is being done on daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. This is probably to measure or to keep track of all the sales that have, how much are you improving or how much are you deteriorating, uh, whether on a daily basis, weekly basis or monthly basis. And as per the sales only, uh, forecasting is, is being done. And then we have closing stock. Closing st stock, it is being measured on a monthly basis. And finally, we have non-merchandising report. Uh, these keep tracks of all the non-merchandising items, such as poly bags, stationary items, or any other items which are not included in the stores. And uh, that's it we have for post or ops. Now, Swapnil and others would like to share something regarding post or ops. Ops of operation uh, ops, uh, is the department of the urban uh, store and the operation is also doing a front end work, uh, front end work in the store. If uh, any, uh, they are, uh, they are uh, assisting the customer and, do, uh, and uh, solving uh, solve all the problems for the customer and uh, operation is the main part of the store because they are in front of customer and they are all, always uh, try to help and assist the customers. Uh, just be, uh, as Abhilash has already told about all the things, uh, as he told about the total bills and average, uh, average bill size, how, how can we uh, measure the average bill value? It's come to, uh, how the total sales, how must we uh, run the total sales and how much the bill value? If we divide it each other, we will find the average bill value. And the same thing, average bill size. Average bill size, the total sale, upon total sale, how much we uh, we the sell the, uh, the bills. The, they affect the average bill size. The profit square feet and the sales square feet. We have, suppose we have, uh, we have a store, uh, it's about 1800 square feet. 1800 square feet. So, we, we will also find the the profit according to the square feet. The total, the total profit upon uh, upon square feet. We will get the pro uh, profit upon square feet value. And then now we will pull, uh, I can just uh, pull that and see. Uh, like the product which we are selling, we have to keep an eye on this. It was the, it is the basic need of the product of uh, business. But I would like to say, we give some additional values to the customers also. Like we give them poly bags or some other thing which not which are not directly our products, but still we use those products which cost which which will cost us. So in this in this according to this report, we will keep an eye keep an eye on those products which are costing us, but uh, which are not our brands. Um, and uh, closing stock, will, in this report, we will also keep an eye on our closing stock. Like uh, on 31st March at 12 o'clock, what report we will generate is known as closing report. Uh, it will tell us about the, the actual position of inventory, which will be the opening stock for the next year. And uh, about the sales report, uh, in this, we will keep an eye on our daily sales, weekly sales, and monthly sales. So by this, we can, uh, we can set the targets for our uh, CREs who are working there in the store. They will, we will give them the target and we will monitor them according to the
daily and monthly and weekly basis. Now I would like to Harish to conclude the things. So as you have seen, first we started with the blueprint of the store, and then we went to the pre-store operations, and after that we went to the post-store operations. Now something which is very important in making this a successful uh, venture is first the people, next the process, and third thing is how efficiently you manage your money. So uh, thank you very much for uh, watching the video.